guys, it is pouring out here, y'all. And I'm in the rain. I'm heading to the mall, the Florida mall to be exact. Doing this for y'all. Actually, I'm doing it for me too as well. But nevertheless, man, we're gonna pull up the Florida mall. Despite the rain, we about to go in the building and see what's popping. They got Foot Locker. They got a JD Sports. They got Champs. They got a Shoe Palace. They got two, another Foot Locker. Bro, this is the sneaker mall of Central Florida. At least for Orlando, that is, man. There's some other malls out here. But this one, this one got a lot of shoes. Stores. Guys, look how far I park from the entrance. It is still pouring, but I had to come to the mall. I had to run a few errands, so I had to be here. And I'm not sure if you saw that lightning strike, but I did. So I'll meet y'all in the building. So this is what they got in here. They got the LeBron's 19s, all highs, multiple different flavors. They even got the lows too as well. They got the black joints, which I have not seen before. This joint is huge, man. This is very discouraging if this is like a size 12, but this is what it would look like on my feet. And that's 11 and a half, so that's not even a 12. And that joint look huge. They do got the KD 14s, I apologize, 15s. If I'm not mistaken, they're 160. And this also look huge. What size is this? That is a 13, actually like that. And this is what I was trying to compare it to the other day. This is a PG fives or six, PG sixes, right? No, this is a Kyrie 5 low. I'm tripping. Kyrie 5 lows. KD 15 lows. I don't see the PGs in the building though. Nah, I just see a whole bunch of LeBrons, the lows, the Kyries. But not the PGs. Alright, let's keep it moving. Over here as far as Nike. This is different. I got next. It's gotta be some WNBA thing. That should be the slogan back in the days. I got next or we got next. I'm assuming. They're not that bad looking though. I'm not mad at it. Air Forces, nah, not Air Forces, yeah. Air Force lows, up tempos, up tempos. For y'all who like Adidas, man, they got the top tens here. This is probably my favorite colorway right here, the Gucci colorway, and it's patent leather, so it strikes a lot of boxes for that particular shoe. Uh, it's probably retail, what is retail? Well, I know on sale is 60, retail is like 110. Oh, retail is 90, so not bad, not bad. They got the all red joints up there, infrared, more Adidas. I actually like this. But you know what I would say, right? It has to have prime knit to even be considered. More ultra boosts, more ultra boosts. Now these Asics don't look that bad, bro. They don't. I just don't like that toe box, that vent toe box that, uh, I don't even know what you want to call that. The suede look kind of hairy though. Also looks dope. The 110, not bad, not bad. This is the New Balance section. Dang, there's a ton of New Balance, bro. And it's like only one shoe on sale, which is these. It's going for 80, maybe this, this is going for 70. But this is the most New Balance I've ever seen in a long time. They got so many different flavors, bro. This one sticks out to me, I like that. That bubble gum on the back heel, I'm referring to navy blue suede. That's fire, that's fire. And over here you got the Reeboks, the pearlized blue toe, fire. I tried these on, this is the pair I tried on in Champs. This is going for 70 beans. Yo, the price went back up. Well, I'm in Foot Locker, so maybe Foot Locker and Champs have some different pricing. You got these pumps. I have to own a pair, the orange joints. Florida State colorway <laughs> or San Francisco colorway. I like this. I like this color too as well. This one on sale? Nope. Is this a tag? Step overs in the emerald green. Sacknosis. Anniversary questions on top. That's for the Reeboks. For the Air Max is Griffey's. The Bowls, which I love. I love these joints, bro. These are fire to me. More Griffey's. Vapor Max. Vapor Max, Vapor Max, Vapor Max Hirachis. These are different. I like 97s, but I don't like this joint. Uh, 185 is the price. I think. Yeah, I'm right. 85 beans. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Yo, they do got some J's in the building, but it's kind of crowded over there. So I'm going to wait till the crowd disperse and I'll show you guys what they got for some Jordans. They do got a lot of slides in the building because you already know why. Because we live in Florida, y'all. A whole row full of slides and slip ons, yo. <laughs> the China market slides are back in the building, going for 40. All right, so this is the Jordan section right here. They got a lot of 36s. I think these are lows. I'm not sure, but this is like my favorite of all of them, man. I will rock this Kenny Apple colorway. That's fire to me. And then they got these Zoom joints, purple and white. Size 12, my size too, bro. What's the price? Probably like 160, 170. They do got the green beans with a 3M. Yeah, 200 beans, obviously. And they got these mids, which I don't think y'all care for them. Neither do I, man. I call them tie, the tie-dye back heel or the purple tie-dye joints. Pass. And lastly, they got the Heritage, size 13. 
170 is the price is not on sale. That's it, man. That's all they got for J's. Then you got the six rings and whatnot. I'm passing. But anyways, man, let's keep it moving. Man, let's pull up the JD Sports first, y'all. And wow, look what we see when we walk in the building, man. They got these 2002 New Balance in yellow. That's kind of loud, though. They're going for 200 beans, man. Actually, this whole store is loud. All right, y'all, man. I apologize. I'm going to have to speak very loud because it is extremely loud in here. So this is the Jordan section right here. Now, this color, I've never seen before. This is dope. I actually like this. Now, I will rock this. It's a 36. They're going for 195. Fire to me. And then... They got the island green. I believe these are called island green. I forgot what they actually call. They got the all white joint, which probably be dope for customization. They got the Seattle colorway. Now these are all Miz I'm showing you guys. Tie dye joint as well. We just saw those in Foot Locker. And then they got the black heel mid, red black heel or the, the bread heel. <laughs> the bread heel, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> I did a whole bunch of uh, King Griffey's. And I don't know what you want to call those, but I feel like these in all JD Sports. I think it's an exclusive shoe for JD, bro. I see these in every JD Sports, even finish line. Guys, whole bunch of LeBrons, man. LeBron 19s, lows, and highs. Now, this colorway don't look that bad. I ain't gonna lie. But it's still a bulky shoe, man. I cannot hoop in that shoe. They're going for 160 old pricing of Jordan 1s. Yo, I've seen this in a lot of these new shoes, man. First time I've seen this is on the PG 6s. I don't know what that's about. Okay, the step overs and the black and white. Dope shoe, I like. And even these kamikazes, man, I like as well. The 60 beans, that's not bad. And they're light too, bro. This used to be a bulky shoe. Um, they definitely deconstruct this and made a whole much, whole, whole lot lighter. It got the helix in the outsole for comfort. I'm not mad at this, yo. That's something I would rock. I'll pay 60 beans for those. You got the emerald green, you got the D browns. I think these are D browns. The black and green pumps. And then you got this Pepsi looking color called the Pepsi pumps. And above that, we got the blue toe questions. My favorite basketball shoe of all time. Rocked by my favorite player of all time. And above that, you got the T-Max. All right, Champs is up next. Champs Sports, bro. I know they're kind of revamping how they're doing Champs. They're not going to be carrying as much sneakers. They're going to be adding new equipment and stuff. So let's go ahead and see what's popping. Straight to the basketball. Oh, I thought this was a Safari uh, LeBron's. I guess they could be. They're lows. And you got the highs, hard pass and all that. This is supposed to be the Jordan section, but there ain't no Jordans in here, unfortunately. Air Force, Lowe's, yep. Griffey's, Kyrie's, that's all. All right, y'all. Any, mini, miny, mo. All right, we're going to shoot pilots first. Then we'll come back and go in for a locker. And <laughs> they got a whole bunch of Jordan ones in the building. All right, so I don't see no retros in the, in the back wall, but they still got these three one twos, man. They got them in this colorway, which I think is like the... Alpha Print Chicago. I know I'm making up a lot of the names for these shoes because I don't know the, I don't know what else to call them. They got the cool grays up my, they got, they got the shadows up the 312s. I call these the shadows. I call those the Chicago's. Not really, I got the Chicago's and they do not look like that. They don't got the elephant print, but these are shadows with the elephant print on the back here. There's also one other version. Nope, I think this is it. Just those two. Oh, they got the six low. Yeah, I cannot think. Ever. What's the best six low they ever made? I can't think of any of them. I can't think of not one six low that I would cop. Our pass. They got these 97s. I actually like these. 170. Yo, y'all remember how much uh, Air Max 97s to cost? What's retail? I do not remember. It's been so long. I think 2017, 18 is probably the last time I was involved with Air Max 97s like that. They came out with a whole bunch of colorways that we all love. Now they're just throwing anything on the shoe and hope it sticks, man. But this is dope. I like it. It's not an OG colorway, but it's fire to me. All right, child. So now we get the privilege to head into Foot Locker. It's gonna be the last shoe store in the building. There's Adidas, maybe, we'll see. This is the Adidas section over here, man. T-Max for $89. Oh, they got the Derrick Rose joints, which is these. What are these going for? 150 beans, y'all. That's crazy. This seems to get more play, though. This is like the favorite of the two. But I don't think I'll buy any of them, though, man. It's a light shoe. Look like it'll make a good hooping shoe. T-Max for 90. NMDs, passing. This is the basketball section right here. A bunch of LeBrons. I don't think LeBrons sold in like eight years, man. Since the South Beaches, I think that was the last shoe 
that makes sense for a lot of people, man. They got the Griffies, the Bo Jacksons, the Giannis, the Candy Apple, which I love. I love that colorway. And in here, they do got these lows. I don't think people going after these like that. Hard pass on those. And they got the 312s in here. We just saw these in Shoe Palace. And there was an Air Jordan 1 above here. I believe it was the Heritage. We'll see when they bring it back out. Air Max is on this side. 97s, Vapor Max, Prestos, Free Runs. 270s, 90s, Hirachis. I like that black Hirachi. 119 is the price. I'm not mad at it. And a whole bunch of slides. Why? Because we live in Florida. And here they go. These are the heritage, y'all. This was the shoe above the 312s. Still available. 170 is the price. I don't know what size it is, man. But not to politely pass. I already got two pairs. And I think that's it, y'all. That's it for this foot locker. There's two, actually two foot lockers in this mall. And that's a wrap, y'all. That's all the shoe stores. Well, like I said, they got Adidas. Maybe we'll stop in Adidas. All right, so you about walking Adidas, man. Might as well, right? Talked about it twice in the vlog, so let's see what's in the building. All right, so we've been in the corner. And this stuff look familiar? Like these joints right here? They got the M&Ms. Yo, Adidas been doing the most with the collabs, yo. They do Star Wars. They do Marvel. Now they're doing candy. That's the most, bro. One of the reasons why I actually stopped coming because they stopped carrying a lot of stuff that I was interested in, like the Hardens basketball shoes. But now they got quite the flavor. Yo, this sign, this logo looks so familiar. I saw a hat like this before. What's that about? So how you doing? Show your creativity. I guess you could draw on it. I don't even see Hardens in here no more. Does he even still have Adidas contract? All right, the MNDs without prime knit. Damn, what a shame, bro. I actually like the one at the bottom. Excluded from promotion. So they got a promotion going on. This is not that bad. I actually like this. Wait a minute, this is not the MND. This is Pharrell. Yeah, well, Human Racer. That's the right name for it. More flavors of the MM. You got the green joint, yellow one, orange. They're in the building if y'all care for them. All right, Josh, wrap, man. Five flex out of here. Wasn't much in Adidas, man. That's the reason why I stopped going, man, because they don't have much. Anyways, we'll wrap it up. Happy Christmas. These are fire, man. These are fire. These are wallabies. Little parsley prints. These are dope, y'all. These are dope. I'm not mad at them, yo. Not mad at them. I'm in Clark's. I saw these in the show window, so I had to stop by and pull up. They got them in leather as well. Wallabies. It's definitely a New York staple right here as well, along with the Air Force Ones. And we're back in the studio. Thank you for watching all the way through. If you made this far, salute to you. Guys, I get a lot of questions about, Frank, what's the best outlet to go to? What's the best mall to go to for sneaker shopping? You know what I mean? I already talked to you guys about my outlet of the year back in 2020, 2021. And obviously this year, 2022 is not over. But I never disclosed to you guys what's my favorite mall, where to go to when you're looking for the biggest variety of sneaker stores, which is the Florida Mall. And there you have it, y'all. In this video, I show you guys so many different sneaker stores. There's two Foot Lockers, there's a JD Sports, there's a Shoe Palace, there's Adidas. If you guys wanna get cute, you can go to Clark's. There's also a resale shop in that mall. And as I speak, as I'm recording this, I have been conversing with a lot of you guys who is traveling from abroad, overseas, across the pond, you know what I mean? Our distant cousins who's coming over here to go shopping. I know you guys wanna go to the outlet, but you guys also wanna go to the malls, right? There's a few malls in here or in Central Florida, but Florida Mall is my destination for the most variety and most, uh, how do I say it? The most options you have in one central location. But nevertheless, guys, it's all a gamble. You know what I mean, you pull up, hopefully they got what you want in that moment. Also, a lot of you guys been attempting to submit your outlet finds through my website. There was a size limit. It's been resolved, man. So if you guys want to continue submitting your data, feel free. Go to MrBallInTheBudget.com, submit your best outlet finds, and you guys can be featured on my weekly rotation videos, man. So go back. Submit your data again, and I apologize for the short inconvenience. That's pretty much it, man. Now, I ain't gonna lie. This video was a little bit overdue. I have traveled and since came back, so I'm trying to get all my data up on the interwebs, up on YouTube for you guys to see, man. So look for more videos to come. So I don't make this video any longer. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Go ahead and do all the... Matter of fact, just go to my description down below. You guys will see all my discount codes. You guys will see my website and all the information that I've been talking about throughout my videos, man. I'll see y'all in like 24 hours. All right, peace.